Hey everybody, happy Friday. Here we are again, one more week down. I don't know, what does that mean? What are we counting down to? I don't think anything. <laughs> I don't think I wanna count down one more week. I don't know, that doesn't sound good. Anyhow, I do like a Friday. It's been a pretty good Friday around here. Uh, we have a pool going in our backyard and it has been almost five weeks where they have done a thing and they are here today working. I almost cried when I saw them pull up. Have you guys, how many of you have had a pool put into your house? Please tell me this is normal. I mean, people told me there would be a lot of frustration, but boy, whew, I'd like to have a job where I don't work for five weeks, but still get paid. Hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, it's a good Friday. It is a good Friday. Um, it is hot as Hades here too, and that's not good, but hopefully soon. It will not be terribly hot. You know, we're putting in a pool, and I keep telling my husband, as soon as that pool is done, we're gonna have the coldest winter we've ever had. All the hot weather will be gone, <laughs> and we won't be able to get in that pool for like a year. Ah, that's how things go. Hello, everybody, it's good to see you. I'm glad that you're here. Um, today's projects are super cute. Um, they're kind of involved, take a little bit longer than normal because they're all coloring. So I'm gonna kind of jump into things pretty quickly. Um, let me just make sure that I have you guys here. Let me make sure I have you guys open. Okay, it's good to see you. Um, I wanna show you guys, I have gotten a bunch of things in the mail over the last few weeks and I have a little thing here that I put them in so I can show you and I haven't shown you guys mail in a while. So I have to show you some things that I got. Victoria, I don't know if you're watching. She emailed me yesterday and she said, I sent you something, let me know when you get it. And literally it came that day and I haven't sent you an email. So hopefully Victoria, you're watching. Um, my birthday is this week and you guys are so thoughtful. I always get little surprises in the mail. So she sent me, um, it's actually a, I'm not gonna pick the whole thing up, but it's a um, wind chime, which is perfect for out here. We have, um, we're kind of up on a hill and we have a constant breeze and I love wind chimes. So Victoria, thank you very, very much. She also sent me this beautiful card right here using the autumn leaves and look how it opens. This pops up and this pops down. Isn't that neat? It just tucks right in there. It looks like its own envelope. I have started keeping all of your fun folds and I'm slowly going to case them. Um, I have one that I'm gonna show you at the end of today that I'm gonna post on my blog on Monday that I cased. So when you guys send me fun folds, I appreciate it because I feel like I can never think of a new fun fold. I just do the same fun folds all the time. Like today we're doing one that I've done a million times. So. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, especially too for the fun bowl. All right, this is really, really cute. Um, this is from Vicky. And um, do you guys remember the taco, or was it a taco truck? It was called, what was that stamp set called? It was a celebration set. And now I can't remember. Was it actually tacos? It was an ice cream truck, a taco truck. But anyway, she put my big taco from my taco stamp set up on the top. It's so cute. Very cute. And it's, gingham and it's pink and it's tacos i mean hello it's totally me so thank you vicky i love it it's so cute um okay then this one oh i love this oh and i i'm glad i see this this is from christy my downline um this truck punch remember how it came and then it boom sold out judy that's what it was called deliver something wait a minute no that was a different truck stamp set that was one that was in the spring catalog it was um Oh, I can't remember. It was Tasty Trucks. Tony's got it. Tasty Trucks. That's what it was. We've had two truck stamp sets now that I'm thinking about it. Christy's my downline. And she made me this card. She sent me a thank you. Really cute. Thank you, Christy. Um, the truck punch. Remember, the bundle came. It sold out. It came back. Sold out again. Well, they have updated the inventory supply. And they're saying it's coming back now the week of October 9th. So that's not very far from now. So the Facebook Friday, right before October 9th, I put a calendar right here so I could refer to it. That would be October 4th. That's not next Friday, right? Is it, am I on the wrong? Oh, I'm on 2024. <laughs> I got a new calendar in the mail. I was like, oh good, I can put it right here. It's 2024, whatever. Not next Friday, the Friday after that, we'll, we'll do the um, truck punch and stamp set for Facebook Friday because it's supposed to be back in stock the following week. Christy, thank you. I love how she used that. 
um, iridescent paper, not iridescent, what's it called? You know, the mirrored paper. Um, this is from Tina. Tina sent me a beautiful card. Look at that. Gorgeous. And it's um like a, oh, it's not just one of the little storybook cards. Watch this, you guys. Hold on. Whoop. I mean, it's like magic. Oops, let me take that back in. That's a really good way to use your designer series paper because it shows both sides. Look at that. Okay, that's definitely going into my fun fold box. That, you know, it looks really complicated, but it's not, I think we can figure that out easily. Tina, thank you so much. That's really, really cool. Very cool. Tina also had this card that goes over her card in the envelope. It says, this is a protective cover for mailing. Please feel free to toss it and enjoy your handmade card by me. Isn't that cute? Like to protect it, you know, like, you know, so it doesn't poke through the envelope. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. Okay, this is from Gina. Gina is on my team. Gina is one of the most thoughtful people I know. She remembers my birthday every year and she always sends me a goodie. She sent me a gift card and look, she sent me a taco, I mean a taco, a cactus stamp set. Very cute, very pretty. Gina, I love it. Gina's in Arizona. She, she likes cactus too, I think. You have to like cactus if you live in Arizona, right? So thank you, Gina. I appreciate it. What shall I get with my gift card? I love a gift card. Um, this is from my downline, Lisa. Look at this beautiful card. Look at the colors. This is the Darling Details, right? Um, we just use this for a new color club. I like that stamp set. Wow, that is really, really pretty, Lisa. That looks like a lot of work. Thank you so much. I really love the colors. I, I can't figure out how you did it, Lisa. Is that watercolor and then embossing on top? That's really beautiful. All right, this one I love. Hopefully, I try to keep the envelopes so that I remember. This is from Tina. Um, <laughs> Tina sent me some free goodies that she had extras of. And she wrote me a sweet card thanking me. So, Tina, hello. Thank you for sending me those goodies. But she has this, um, look, oh, wait, hold on. Let me go back like this before. This is the um, Give It a Whirl dies. And look what she did. Hold on. I can't do it this way. Let me see. When you turn it, if I can turn it, oh my gosh, look, there we go. Look, how cute. Isn't that fun? A rainbow. And that looks like she made the rainbow with circle dice. That is really clever. I love it. Thank you so much, Tina. Hopefully you got the stamp set that I sent you also. Um, this is from, hold on, let me open it and tell you. Oh, I love this card too. Tony. Oh, Tony's here. Tony, look at this. Pink and gray go beautifully together. I never think to put pink and gray together, but look how beautiful that is. That is so beautiful. Have a zesty birthday. That's such a good bundle. Very nice. Thanks, Tony. I love it. All right. Um, look, Tony did the same thing. This piece of cardstock serves as protection for the front of your card. How come I don't have those? I need to get some of those. Um, it arrives in perfect condition for you while traveling through the postal system. You guys are so clever. So smart. Okay, this one is from Sarah. Oh, this is from Sarah Douglas. I'm like, wait a minute, that looks like Sarah Douglas. Sarah Douglas is our CEO, and I. Um, she, this is a congratulations card on a sales milestone. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool that she signed it? I keep all of these. These are very special when you get a card from Stampin' Up. Thank you, Sarah. You know, I got them. Oh, yeah, this goes with it. Let me show you. They send you a pen every time you hit $100,000 in sales. And I was just looking, and I think I will be this time, well, no, probably late spring, I might hit my $2 million. Doesn't it feel like I just hit my million? So I'm pretty close. I'm getting close. Less than a year away. That's fine. I have a display over here. I wish it was somewhere else so that you guys could see it, but I put all my pens on a, on a board. All right, here comes my husband. You guys are going to hear his truck. It's super loud. And he, you know, it was the dogs before. Now it's his truck. Oh, look, he's going to go that way. Maybe you'll see him drive by. It's super loud. Yeah, there he is. Can you guys hear it? It is like, yeah, so loud. And he revs his engine when I'm making videos all the time. <laughs> I mean, Ted Serwin. Look, why is he doing that? I don't know. I have no idea. He's gonna to try to come in here too. If it's not the kids, it's the dogs. If it's not the dogs, it's the husband. 
Um, <laughs> this is, I have a note on the door. You're going to see him. He's going to come right by that window. Um, this is from Chris. You know, Chris always sends me beautiful cards. Um, here's that beautiful autumn leaves paper right there. I love that paper. I was just sorting it for paper shares. If you ordered paper shares from me, um, they're going to ship next week. Okay. They're almost done. Another beautiful card. That paper, that beautiful paper, you don't even need to do anything with it. You just put that paper on a card front. All right, look at this one. It's so cute. Okay, this is a good time to tell you guys that my Them Bones, I named the class Them Bones instead of Bag of Bones, which is what the bundle is called because I think Bag of Bones is a weird name. But anyway, my Halloween class, you guys, today is the very last day to register. If you look right here, I've already cut. I have extras in case more people register, but it's ready to go. It'll ship early next week too. Um, and then one more, Chris is so good. Look at that, fun fold. We'll have to make that, that's really cool. Look at that guy, he's so cute. That's coming, this bundle is coming for Facebook Friday in a few weeks. And then one more, did I already show this one? <sighs> that paper, that reminds me of Colorado when we went to Colorado. So beautiful. Okay, that's it, that is, the. that's it. Like, oh, that's it. No, that is it. You guys, thank you so much for spoiling me and sending me all those beautiful cards. I'm going to flip you guys around um, because I just want to show you a couple of things and then we're going to get started stamping. I didn't want to talk too much today because I have our projects are going to take a while. Let me move all of this. Let's see. Do I want to put my iPad up here? I have to have my iPad plugged in. Let's see. No, I can't really see it that way. Well, yes. Okay. Thanks, uh, Tony. I, you know, it is my birthday this week. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I don't know. I like to just go shopping by myself to TJ Maxx. <laughs> that may be what I do. Um, paper pumpkin. Here is this month's September paper pumpkin kit. Um, there was a journal that you could order for this, and I completely forgot, and now they're gone. So sorry, those of you who have asked me if I have any. I don't. Um, but it's a beautiful set. Um, if you, with love and gratitude, paper pumpkin, if you're somehow yours didn't go through, that happens sometimes, your card just doesn't go through, you don't get your paper pumpkin kit, let me know. I have a handful. I also have a handful of last month's kits as well. Um, includes, this one has two stamp sets and a spot, and I will send it to you in the original box. So just message me, email me, and I can let you know the details about that. All right, um, one last time, I, the projects aren't even in here because I've been using them to cut. But if you want the Them Bones Halloween Treats class to go today is the very last day. I sent the link out in an email on Wednesday to everybody on my email list. Um, if you don't have it, email me and I will send it to you. Um, but I will probably not check emails after about five o'clock tonight. So make sure you send it to me quickly, okay? All right, um, and then here's the Autumn Leaves. Uh, Club Create kit. Um, now I'm going to be looking at that dumb calendar. We still have, okay, we still have time for this Club Create kit. The deadline for this is um, October 7th, if you want in on this. Now, I am going to put a little asterisk next to this. Um, the paper and the ribbon are both basically on back order won't be back until like the third week of October. So this kit will probably ship late. I usually, my deadline to ship my club create kits are the 21st of the month, but like this month's kit shipped a week early. I really try to beat my deadlines every month, but this is going to be one where I'm going to say it's probably going to go out a few days late. Okay. It has a mini album and four cards. So this is the kit that will ship in October. If you're interested in that, the details are on today's PDF. There's also a link at the top of my blog that says click create. And if you click on it, there's a link there for you as well. Okay. That's it. Let me tell you real quick. Um, our winner for last week, Jean Hoffman, you are my random winner for sharing my video. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Um, I would love to send you this. I don't know if I have your mailing address, Jean, so please email me or message me so that I can get this to you in the mail. Um, this week I'm giving away something from the holiday catalog, Night Divine Bundle. Um, all you have to do is share the video either on Facebook or on um, YouTube. Write in the comments, share it, and then I just randomly pick a winner each week. Okay? Um, this week we have a new host code for Facebook Friday. 
Um, the PDF, have you guys checked? It should be up because I just scheduled it like literally 10 minutes ago. Um, all three projects are here, the details, the, measure, the measurements, and the host code for these projects. If you want these projects, they're free. They come like this. Here's last week's. I love my little tag for last week. They come like this. They have everything that you need um, except for stamped images. I do not stamp anything. That's your job. You stamp the images. So if you like the projects but you don't have the bundle and you don't want the bundle maybe, sub something else. That's totally fine. But the only way to get these projects is to put in an order between now and Monday at midnight at stampinup.com and use this host code. You can order anything you want as long as it's $35 before tax and ship. I will send these to you for free next week, okay? And it'll be these three projects. And then um, the PDF, um, did you guys check to see if it's there? Um, everything that we talked about is here on the last page. I didn't talk about the all-star tutorial because I feel like we need to get started. And you guys have heard me talk about it a hundred times, but the details are there if you need them. Okay. All right. That is that. Let me get a little sip of my water. Man, my iPad just fell down. I can't see. It's glaring. Thank you, Trisha. I appreciate you checking that for me. Okay. Let's get started. Um, so this is our bundle this week. Rustic crate. We had a crate bundle I don't know, maybe two years ago. It was very different and I loved it. I love this one too. The thing I love mostly about this whole bundle, um, well, obviously it has pumpkins and sunflowers, two of my favorite things. So of course I love it. But this, you have different ways to make the little crate. There's a stamped crate that you can make, but also this, and I'm gonna show you this in a little while, how we put this together. This makes a little, it's not 3D, but it's paper pieced and it's super cute. And there's little like brackets and stuff you can put on it. There's a handle, you've got garden gloves, um, a little die cut word. So the dies are fantastic. Um, and the stamp set of course is great as well because we're gonna get to use our Stampin' Blends. Um, we're gonna make a Christmas card. We're gonna make a pumpkin project and we're gonna make a non-holiday project just a regular anytime card, okay? But we're gonna start with Christmas. This card right here uses the poinsettia die. Now I also think that that poinsettia die could be a different flower, but look at this flower right here. This is walk, walk in the Garden, Garden Walk Designer Series paper. And when you look at it, it doesn't look Christmassy. However, it does have this little, what I'm calling a poinsettia pattern in it, and it's got some greens. So this is paper you could use throughout the year. This is a great fall color scheme right here, I think. And then of course, spring and summer too. So we're gonna use that, but then also we're using this gingham, which you guys know I love gingham. And this is the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. Um, it's 12 by 12 and it has quickly become, okay, why am I getting a low battery warning on my iPad when it's plugged in? Not charging, what? Well, that would be a problem. Hold on guys, just a sec. Let me see why this is not charging. Um, this is quickly becoming my favorite designer series paper pack from the um, catalog. We're gonna use it this week and next week, I believe too. So. Um, one thing I want to say about these two pieces, we're also using um, this other larger piece that's from Joy of Christmas. Um, you can get a better look at it this way. Um, this right here, this pack says that it's Poppy Parade, and then this pack, I believe, it said it was real red, but I think they go fine together. I could not even tell. I actually had to look to see. Um, so use Real Red or Poppy Parade. Whichever you want to do is fine. I give you permission. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. There we go. Just a bit. It's because I'm coloring. So now I'm close, but I'm going to do a lot of coloring and I want you guys to be able to see the coloring. Um, of course, I recorded individual recordings of each of these projects and they're over on YouTube. So if you wanna um, watch it later, you can. Those are edited and zoomed in a little bit better. Um, but when I have my camera up on my desk like this for Facebook Live, it's hard to see. 
Okay, so I stamped it in Memento. I brought my glasses today because Lord knows I need them for this. Um, so I stamped it in Memento. And I am gonna use my Poppy Parade. And these are new Poppy Parade Stammer Blends. And so my brush tip is still pretty stiff. I haven't ruined it yet. So I think I'm gonna use it. Um, I usually like to use my bullet tip. And I will say, I do a lot better when I use the bullet tip. Yep, see, I just got out of the lines right there. Uh, for whatever reason, I cannot stay in the lines with a brush tip, but you can cover a lot of area faster, I think, with that brush end. All right, so now I'll switch over to the, the bullet and yeah, because I did a bad job. Oh wait, I didn't even finish over here. Yeah, I just do way better. I think, oh, I'm gonna do good with that brush and then boom, I've made a huge mess. So we're gonna do light poppy parade all over and while I color this I have to tell you guys about the book that I am reading slash listening to it's a book that I have read before and it's probably in my top five favorite books of all time it's called you guys many of you probably already read it all the light we cannot see it's a, a World War II novel and the reason I am rereading it is because Netflix has a limited series coming out in November. And so I was like, okay, let's reread it. I have devoured it again. It is so good. So if you're looking for something to listen to, the audiobook is excellent. Or if you prefer to read, it's excellent as well. And then you can watch it on Netflix on November 2nd. I'm using my dark poppy parade to kind of color in anything that's behind. Um, anything that's overlapping is going to create a shadow, so we're going to add some dark. But anyway, I always like to tell you guys when I am reading something or watching something good and all the light we cannot see. I'm sure many of you have read it. It was very popular several years ago. I read it back in like, I don't know, 2019 maybe, and it's so good. It is sad. World War II novels are always sad. Why am I not getting comments? There we go. Um... But it's so, so good. All right, so now I'm gonna use Old Olive Light to color in the leaves. World War II, I went through a kick where I was reading a lot of World War II books and I had to just stop because, man, it really is so, so depressing and sad. But this one, um, it is sad. I mean, it's World War II, but it's just really, really good. Really good. Mary, you've read it. It's the, the, you know, I do a lot of audiobooks because I can then listen to them while I'm working, you know, or driving or exercising or whatever. Um, and uh, where is my early espresso pad? Did I put it back over there or is it just sitting here? Hold on, let me grab it. And if you guys like to listen to audiobooks make sure that you have downloaded the library app it's called libby and you can link your library card to it um and then you can download audiobooks for free i always i always i mean i hardly ever pay for an audiobook anymore because you can pretty much get them all for free um sometimes you have to wait but anyway just my little public service announcement. All right, so this is a radio, a radio. <laughs> Radiating Stitches die. the smaller rectangle. I have stamped our crate in early espresso. I'm gonna grab my cut and emboss machine. Brand new plates, you guys. Don't you love brand new plates? And we're gonna cut this out. Now, um, Post-it tape, you guys. If you need post-it tape, I have linked it today because I am, um, oh, I forgot to do the middle of these. Hold on. I'm gonna use Wild Wheat to color in the middle. Um, when you spend a lot of time coloring an image and you die cut it, you are gonna cry if that goes through and it slips. And you have to do it again because it messed it up, right? So post-it tape, 
I linked it. I link it every few weeks. I saw somebody on YouTube ask me where you get it. So there's a link there on my blog today for you to um, get it if you need it from Amazon. Now, this little die is gonna cut out the outline of the frame and this little um, back side of the frame. And I just need that back side from the white. So we're gonna just put it like that. I didn't leave myself a lot of room for it, but <laughs> it'll work. I think that post-it tape is like $4.99. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you know, you get it free shipping. All right, there's our beautiful poinsettia. Now, we've got our little label for our crate. Oh, don't you hate when you ruin your brand new plates? Oh, the first time. I mean, that's what they're there for, but. Oh, good. Hi, Kimberly. I've been thinking about you today, by the way. I almost texted you earlier. Um, we're gonna cut this outside part, the outside part of the, the label frame with gold foil. All right, and this is tiny. I probably should have used a, an adhesive sheet, but I did not. Okay, so we'll stamp just the tiny for you in Poppy Parade, and it'll fit just right there, okay? And um, Lisa, I'm behind on Virgin River. I'm behind on my favorite show, Sweet Magnolias. I have not finished the last season. And I keep saying, I'm not gonna start anything else until I finish that, and I don't know why. My husband and I have been watching The Bear, second season, if you guys watched The Bear. That's on Hulu, and it is excellent. Okay, I'm gonna glue that to that. But yeah, I need to catch up on Virgin River. I think I'm one season behind. Um, you know, I, what I hate is that it, they, they take so long between seasons that I feel like I need to go back and rewatch. And Virgin River, I feel like maybe I need to go back to the beginning. I may be two seasons behind for Virgin River. But Virgin River Christmas, I have not seen that. That's going to be very popular. All right, early espresso card base. And you will notice that my paper is five and a half inches long. So you won't even see the card base. Um, and then we've got our piece of Garden Walk Designer Series paper. And we're gonna put that here on the end, like that. Why does that not feel straight? It is, okay. And then we're gonna run this gingham right down the middle, like that. This pack, um, Joy of Christmas, has a green gingham in there also, and it is gorgeous. All right, now the reason I put, usually you guys, I put, I like to put the fold of my card at the top, you know, so that it opens up like that. But this time I did it like this because we're gonna tie some of this wild wheat jute trim right here around in the center. Now my jute trim is very curly and doesn't want to sit down flat. So what I did is I got my glue dot. Oh, my iPad just died. Okay, I'm flying blind. I can't see what you guys are saying. I'm gonna get my computer in just a second. Um, I'm taking my glue dots and folding them in half. So you just have like a real skinny little glue dot. And then, let me shorten that a bit. And then I'm just gonna put it behind the outside edge of my bow. All right, so fold it in half. I need to shorten these a little bit. And then you can just put that little glue dot right there. And then you can even get your little, I mean, this way your bow looks perfect. See how you just take the little glue dot and right there and then i'll trim that and trim that and now look perfect all right hold on let me grab my computer because for whatever reason this ipad is dead oh man i just stepped on my pen hold on this is that okay 
Now I have to find these guys. Let's see. Oh, good. I'm already on Facebook. Let's see. Am I uh, pink buckaroo? Do, do, do. Where am I? It got very quiet in here all of a sudden. It's like, ooh, there's my arm. That's weird. Sorry. <laughs> you can see close up of all my hairs and freckles. Okay. There we go. All right. Now back to where we were. Now I can see what I'm doing and I can see what you're saying. Um, okay, so let's take this, and we need some dimensionals over here, and put that right there, and let's see, is our big dimensional, will it fit? It will, right, uh, I'm sticky from the glue, right there. No, I think that needs to go a little bit higher like that. Boy, I zoomed, in, I zoomed in a lot, didn't I? I think I need to zoom out. When I'm done, I'll do that. All right. And you can see all my freckles and hairs. We definitely have zoomed in too much. All right, there we go. Now that's the front. Now because this is a dark card base, you are going to want to put in a piece of... What is that? Kind of plastic. Um piece of basic white and then um, another little strip of our gorgeous gingham paper like that and voila there is your Christmas oh card oh wait nope wait 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 we're not done we're not done where are my gems they were right here did I take them out somewhere are they here <laughs> okay maybe we are done they were, oh, hello, right here. Oh my gosh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. Let's see, one, now now you guys know Stampin' Up! has perfect color coordination. So we've used wild wheat. So let's use some wild wheat dots on here. If I can get this off right there, there we go. Now we are done. Let me see if I can zoom back out a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. All right, cute, right? Um, Lisa says, if it won't melt, run it through a hair straightener. I have one of those in here. I feel like, um, I feel like it wouldn't work on this. I don't know. I, you know, here, if you want something to straighten out, like if you have like a hose or something, you just set it out in the sun, Give it about 10 minutes and it will straighten out. Maybe this would work as well. Who knows? Um, I think it's just the jute is just kind of rough, you know, and it's just kind of going to be like that. But if you use your glue dots, then you can bend it to your will. <laughs> okay, let me make some room and we shall move along to our pumpkin project. The ants are back in my studio, and I had popcorn yesterday here, and I came out late last night to lock up, and they were, there was popcorn on the, a couple of pieces on left on the counter, and they were everywhere. So then I laid in bed last night worrying about my projects, that they were going to be covered in ants, but they were not. They did not discover. I guess they're sealed pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna use these cute little pumpkins, of course, of course. And inside here, this is just a little slider that will slide out. These are Belveda Crunchy Breakfast Biscuits, limited edition pumpkin spice. I believe I got them at Target, but I linked them on Amazon for you if you want them. They are delicious. I already ate a package. <laughs> they look like this. And I only have one package left, which is good, because I don't need to eat anymore. All right, let me get everything out. We'll make the holder first. We are using a little bit of wild wheat today. I think maybe that might be the first time that I have used wild wheat. Um, I have done some stuff ahead of time, simply for time's sake. We are gonna do some stamping here in a minute. Um, Okay, we're, we'll do that. Let's make the holder first and then we'll do that part. Um, you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that is two by 11. Hold on, I'm trying to get my 
Simply scored two by 11. Hey, I'm Margaret, how are you? Oh, yeah, ants gross me out. Um, Brandy says, get it wet, straighten, and let it dry. Really? The jute, huh? That is not something I would have thought of. I'll give that a try. Okay, two by 11. And let's hope my um, score lines are right because yesterday they were not. <laughs> four and an eighth. Nope, nope, that's wrong. Four and seven eighths. Did I put four and an eighth on the PDF? I did. Let me look. Yep, change that to four and seven eighths uh, if you've already printed it. Four and seven eighths and six and an eighth. Okay, it's just one and a fourth inch wide. Let's look and make sure. There we go, okay? That's what it looks like, just like that. Then you've got this piece of very vanilla that is two and three fourths by seven. One and a fourth, three and a fourth, four and a half, and six and a half. And this is just gonna be like a little belly drill. All right, so we're gonna just burnish those lines. Make them nice and crisp with my bone folder. And I decided to do vanilla. I think vanilla is good for fall projects, but I also wanted to use our new um, very vanilla and black big, what's it called? It's called um, large check ribbon. So I chose very vanilla. All right, so you just fold, you put adhesive on that one skinny tab on the end, fold it over, and now you've got a belly band and it just slides in like that. But let's make the top part cute with our elegant edge tag topper punch. Very cute. I love a tag topper punch. Let's see, make sure it goes all the way in. And then there you go. All right, and you've got all these little doodads here. Let's scrape those out of the way. And we shall put our Belveda breakfast biscuits inside and let's see are you gonna fit come on don't tell me you're not gonna fit let's see make sure let's do it this way don't panic everybody it's gonna fit there we go <laughs> don't panic i promise it's gonna fit all right so there's your holder i mean it's just very very simple all right now for our stamping we're gonna stamp these guys twice but while we are doing that. I want this crate to dry. Um, this is the crate I was talking about, and it's this piece right here and this piece right here. And you can see this piece even puts some texture on it, um, like the little swirls and stuff. So when you cut this part out, the first time I did it, I thought, okay, well, we must bend these backwards. No, you need to actually bend them forward, okay? So uh, fold all those tabs up like this. Now, liquid glue, I mean, you can use tear and tape if you want, but it's a little bit tedious. And I like that liquid glue gives me some wiggle room to get it all lined up. You know, if I get it wrong the first time, I can kind of wiggle it around. But just be careful, put some glue on there and spread it around with the tip of the glue bottle so that it's not too gloopy gloppy. And then, basically, you're gonna take these two ends right here and put them right there on that. It's better if I have it flat. Put them down there and then you're just gonna match it up on all the tabs and squish it all together like that. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Isn't that so stinking cute? This would be cute with a little cat sitting in it, a little puppy, some Christmas presents. Um, maybe like the lemonade set, the pitcher and the glasses. This, there's a lot of uses for this. It's very, very cute. All right, now to get it to dry, we're gonna set something heavy on it. I think we'll use the punch and we'll have that just sitting there while we do this other part. All right, we're gonna stamp this again on Very Vanilla in Memento and you wanna do it twice. Now, we're not gonna color the whole thing on both of them. On the second one, we're just gonna color um, the pumpkin and this one right here on the end. See how I just cut, cut it out and put it in the front, okay? 
All right, well, let's start with the pumpkins. Ooh, Pam's going to Arizona for the winter. That sounds fun. I love Arizona. All right, so I'm gonna take my, um, let's see, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna take my light pumpkin pie stamp and blend, and I'm just gonna fill it all in. Now, be really careful around the edges of your sunflower because um, we're gonna color that a yellow and it needs to be light. And if you get any orange on there, it's gonna be kind of hard to cover that up. So just kind of tap that color as you get closer. And if you use too much ink, it will bleed over. So don't go too heavy. I've colored this image like eight times now. And about half the time I did that. So just be real careful, kind of tap that color like that. All right, now I'm not gonna do it for the sake of the video because I already did it ahead of time. You can see it over here. But you wanna color this one too. All right, then I'm gonna take my dark. And I'm gonna add in some dark wherever something is in front of it, creating a shadow. So basically this whole bottom part down here. And then give those lines some dark orange too. And then I like to outline these like this and put some dark along the bottom. And then my screen looks weird. The coloring is really off on my screen. I hope it's not as off on y'all's as it is on mine. I hope it's not my lighting. Still dealing with lighting issues in here. Maybe it's my glasses. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, so for the sunflowers, I'm gonna take Daffodil Delight light. I'm gonna color them in. If you have time, you might wanna just let that pumpkin color sit there for a minute or two, let it dry, because um, as you get these colors close together, the ink, if you, again, if you have too much ink on, the, on your project, they will bleed into each other. So I'm gonna take the dark and darken those um, back petals, and I'm also gonna add some dark here in the middle like that. So that's how I always color. Now, the other way is to start with your dark first and do all your dark. So we'll do all the back petals. This is how my friend Ange McKay colors. She starts with her dark first. And she's a beautiful color too. So there's just no wrong or right, you know, whichever you prefer. All right, then take your light and color the rest. I, I bet if we pulled everybody how they colored, it would be like a 50-50. Some people do it my way, some people do it her way. All right, so then we've got this corn here in the back. And we're gonna color it light, um, daffodil light. But I wanted it to look kind of like Indian corn. So I'm gonna take my wild wheat and just add in some color to a few of those kernels, just kind of dotting the color in there like that. All right, now Old Olive again for all the leaves and foliage and whatnot. I like to sit down and color. This is not my best work and I'm feeling a little dizzy as I stand here with these glasses on. Okay, wouldn't it be funny? No, it wouldn't be funny, but wouldn't it be awful <laughs> if I just fell down in the middle of Facebook Live? What would you guys do? Would you keep watching <laughs> if I just fainted? I probably would. I'd be like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? All right, a little bit of dark. I'm sure that's happened. I'm sure to some horrible soul who passed out during a Facebook Live. Okay, there we go. I'm taking these off. Now, um, for the middle, I'm going to use crumb cake light. There we go. How cute is that little scene? It's so cute. I love it so much. All right, so with your second one, you've colored this, right? And then you take your dye and you cut it out. And you cut this one out. But for this one, oops, I see that I forgot a petal right there. For this one, 
I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut this one off. Now, usually I tell you guys to leave a little white cloud around your image, but there's a lot going on here. And if you leave the white, you're gonna see all that detail, so don't leave the white there. Just kind of go around and if, I don't know, this bothers me too, I'm gonna cut some of this off too. There we go. All right, so there's that and that. Let's bring back over our crate and we're gonna put this in here. I have cut out, I mean, that's just really cute. Next week, you guys, we're doing pick of the patch and I, I made the project yesterday and I, of course, adore them. And this week I also bought all my pumpkins at the grocery store and decorated my new stairs. So I will share a picture with you guys next week because I was inspired by my own pumpkins for some of my, my Facebook Friday projects. Do you guys, are, do you, are you guys, do you love pumpkins as much as I do? Or am I the only weirdo? My husband came home and said, oh, I see you've got more pumpkins. <laughs> I mean, he, he should not be surprised. And I said, yes, and I need a few more. And I could, I, could, I could hear him rolling his eyes. Like, I mean, he was like, oh my gosh, I need a few more. I have a white truck that I got at Hobby Lobby last year that needs some little pumpkins in it. It's very cute. All right, put that right there. I don't know where my obsession with pumpkins came from, but I am obsessed. All right, so last week we used the silver, didn't we? This is the new glimmer paper that's online and it has um, adhesive already on the back. So I just cut it out with this Hello die. It's part of the crate dies. And then we'll just peel off the backing. Let's get the little doodads out of there. You guys love pumpkins too, Nina, yes. Fall's my favorite too, Lisa. Skeletons, you like skeletons too. Um, you know, I love fall and we don't really have a fall. I mean, our trees start changing colors around Christmas, really, <laughs> if they change. So I don't know why I love it so much. Maybe because I want us to have a fall. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually worried about my pumpkins being in the sun because it's so hot right now. And we may even be 100 again tomorrow, you guys. <sighs> so I'm hoping that they don't fry out there. Um, I didn't say this circle is, look, there's that gingham. This is the joy of Christmas, stylish shape circle right there. All right, and then um, last but not least, you can tie a bow with our new black and vanilla large checked ribbon. This is a cute, this is, um, they're breakfast biscuits, but obviously they make a snack, anytime snack. But these would be good, good for if you had like a, a Monday morning meeting and you wanted to take something to your coworkers or of course the teachers in your life, a little breakfast cookie to go with their coffee. And it's pretty easy. What do you guys think? I love it. I love it. Lois, you love fall too, but not pumpkins. You've had too many rot in the heat. And uh, don't tell me that, Lois. I know, they do rot. I try to keep my pumpkins all the way until after Thanksgiving. And usually I've lost about 25% of them. <laughs> I get like about 20 pumpkins. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, a lot of little ones, but some big ones too. I like to make a stack of flat ones. I keep them as long as I can. And then my husband takes them out to the deer feeder and puts them under the deer feeder and the deer love them. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like this project. Thank you so much. I love it too. It's my favorite one today, I think. I think. Okay, let's move this out of the way and let me get my last one. Let me grab a drink. Lisa, I love the stackers too. And you know, my mom and I have been going to this pumpkin patch um, that's kind of like an hour away from here. And it's like people go to take pictures and all that. And we were paying a fortune for these, you know, flat stackable pumpkins. And then Walmart has the same ones for $6. So we bought them from Walmart this year because they were the exact same. And they were only $6. All righty. Um, you know, there's a lot of good fake pumpkins out there too. 
Uh, wait, Dana says, pour a little vinegar inside and swirl it around. It helps preserve, preserve them a little longer. Well, Dana, I don't open mine. I don't cut them because if I did that, then they would be, they would be mush like in two days. But that is an excellent suggestion for when you carve them, right? Like, is that what you're talking about after you carve them? Um, I wish there was a way to preserve them. And you know what? There's always somebody in the neighborhood who has a pumpkin like in may still sitting on their porch and i'm like how does your pumpkin last that long i don't know okay so the the last card is a non-holiday non-fall card this is just a simple fun fold where you open and open like that we're going to use this little image right here um and just use our salmon blends i um actually wanted to tell you guys my daughter i've seen it before but my daughter had shared it this week um the National Parks Instagram and Facebook accounts will share color combos. They'll, they'll post like a picture of something like a sunset. And then over on the side, they have all the colors, you know, like a little color uh, swatch. And so I pulled up one of those to, to uh, get inspiration. And that's where the colors for this card came from. So the, just the National Parks, their Facebook or Instagram account. Okay, let's let's make our crate first since it needs to, to dry. Same deal as last time. Fold in your little um, your little tabs and then get your glue and just you know a dot is a lot. Like I used to tell my kinders, a dot is a lot. Spread it around so it won't squish out. And then we'll set this down. Here, this time I did crumb cake, a crumb cake crate. Say that three times real fast. Crumb cake cake crate. <laughs> Can't even say it once. Crumb cake crate. All right, so there, we've got it together. Now this time, what did I do with that punch? Did I already put it back over here? Let me grab it. This time, there are two dies in this set that I wanna point out. Um, I think there's a sample that uses this one as just like the little slats on the side of the crate. And then this one, I could, I didn't see a sample with these, but I assume they go on the edge of like the front. So that's what I'm going to do. And I did remember to put adhesive sheets on this before I cut it out. So we'll just peel off that backing and we'll put that right there. I mean, that's a cute little detail. I would never have even thought the crate needed these little, these little fasteners and whatever hardware, but really cute detail. All right, and then we'll put that one right there like that. Okay, so see how that, that is? Mine's probably down a little bit too far. Let's just snip that off. There we go. How cute, right? All right. Set that there to dry. Let's do some coloring. I don't know what these little plants are. I don't know if they actually are anything that's real, but I just chose colors that went with our little color swatch. All right, let's start with pumpkin pie. I am gonna need the glasses for this because these are real little. Um, I'm gonna do light pumpkin pie on this one. And these are so small that we're not really gonna to need to do a whole lot of shading or anything. But this one is big enough where we can add a little bit of the dark color. And you really do kind of have to get close to see where one plant ends and the other begins because they do kind of overlap. And I'm just gonna take some dark and put it in like that. Okay. Now let's take old olive and we'll color these. My daughter has a tennis match this afternoon and she wants me to come, but you guys, I just feel like at my age, sitting out in a 98 degree tennis match is just not a healthy choice. <laughs> That's what I told her. She did not like that excuse. She wants me to come and I am just, I, I just can't, I cannot sit in this heat, you guys. I just cannot do it. And even in the shade, it's like super hot. 
This one is boho blue. And, I, and I'm a bad mom because I do not want to go. So she's going to be mad, but I kind of feel like we're going to end up going. Maybe if we go closer to sunset when it's only like 90. <sighs> and, and you guys know, I've told you how I feel about tennis. I don't like it. I don't understand it. We've been playing tennis for like 10 years in my family. Not me, my kids. And uh, mama does not understand it. And mama does not like it. Um, where are my other blends? Okay, so that was boho blue. This is... Copper clay, uh, one of our in colors that I have not used, but that I have used last week and this week, and I am in love with it. We're going to use it a bunch next week too. If it was say seventy degrees with a nice light breeze, you bet I'd be there. But or or if it was in an air conditioned gym. <laughs> I will be there with my shirt on and I will be cheering loudly. But 98 degrees in the Texas sun on a Friday afternoon. Oh, Lois, thank you. I feel like a bad mom because, um, you know, our other daughter plays basketball and that's much easier to go to basketball because it's inside. I don't, I don't know. She, she, she's not happy. She's not going to be happy. All right, so I pre-cut this out to save us time, but I just realized I did not pre-cut the gloves, the garden gloves. The garden gloves. Let's run those through real quick because they're very cute, boho blue. Um, so Dana says, you like tennis but not football. Now, football, Dana, I like. I like football a lot because I understand it. I think, you know, it's what you grow up with maybe. Like, you know, we grew up, my dad watched football all the time. I was on dance team. So we always went to football games. I, you know, I know football. However, 98 degrees in football is a no also. <laughs> it's a no for me. It is a no for me. 98 degrees, the only thing I'm gonna do in 98 degrees is go to the pool or the lake. That's it, I'm not doing anything else. I may not even go to the grocery store when it's 98 degrees. It's too hot. Okay, boho blue card base. We need to get our trimmer. Um, and this is one of those cards where it was eight and a half by 11. I cut it at four and a fourth, scored it at five and a half, but we need to cut it so that the front, you know, I can't see what I'm doing, is two and three fourths inches. Uh-oh, what's going on here? There we go. Two and three fourths inches like that. All right, I am using a variety of designer series papers on this card as well. This is our Countryside in designer series paper. Uh-oh, I'm almost out of adhesive. From the annual catalog. I thought these blues go really well with our oranges, our pumpkin pie, and our copper clay. So we've got that. And then we've got this little mini card that we're going to put here like this, so it'll open up like that, okay? So let's put some adhesive on the back and we wanna center it. Let's make sure it's centered. Open that, does it look centered? Yeah, okay, so push that down. That is um, three and a fourth by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. This is all on the PDF. And then this paper, can you guess where this paper is from? What if I showed you that side? Uh-huh, Oh Holy Night designer series paper. Not just for the nativity cards. You can use it for other things too. It's got some beautiful prints on the back. Now for the inside, we need a piece of scratch paper. This is gonna go on the inside and I wanted to add a little bit of something something in the inside. So I'm gonna take my plant stamp and just stamp about a fourth of it there. All right, and then we'll take um, the same colors and color those in like that. Boop, 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 doo -doo. And with these little tiny leaves, you just kind of want to tap the color in, you know, like dot, 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 kind of. 
and then we'll take both our blue. I'm using the light versions of these colors. Light Old Olive, light Boho Blue, light Copper Clay. Now, Copper Clay compared to Cajun Craze, um, Copper Clay is a little more subtle, less orangey, I think, than uh, um, Cajun Craze, just in case you were wondering. Now, because I love splatter, I'm gonna take my crumb cake, stamp and blend, and you know what? I think I'm gonna have to use this one because that, that one I've already kind of destroyed. There we go, we'll just flick some ink on there. All right. Now bring back our card and put this right here. Now I really struggled with these gloves because when you cut them out, look, you know, I guess they're the, you know, they're the same way. You could turn it like this and adhere them, but then you lose that embossed, I don't know. I'm just gonna put them down here kind of off to the side. Like they're just there waiting for you to go back to your gardening, all right? All right, now up front, we've got this little strip of um, crumb cake. And we'll stamp that sentiment in Misty Moonlight on the right side. Blessed beyond measure. I really like that sentiment. And then, let's see, is it too long? I feel like it might be a little bit too long. Yeah, we're going to have to trim it. So we'll put that right there. And grab our scissors. Let's trim that. Now let's get our little crate and we'll put in our flowers or our foliage, our grasses or stems, I don't know, our plants. Let's just call them plants. Yeah, I know, gotta have the gloves, right, Lois? They're so cute, how can you not use them? They're very cute. All right, and then we're gonna put this like that. Now open that up, close, close. Okay, but wait, we're not done. Here's some more of our jute and tie a little bow. This is the copper clay jute. The jute comes in a five pack of the five in colors. Let's see, can I name the in colors? Wild wheat, boho blue, copper clay, pebbled path, and what am I missing? I can't see, oh, no, pecan pie is a normal color, a regular color. I can't remember, what color am I missing? Copper, pebbled, boho, I don't know. Oh, moody mauve, moody mauve. Put that right there. And then these cute little speckled, these little guys, I love them. They're speckled dots. We'll do a couple of crumb cake and a couple of um, I don't know if these are Cajun Craze or Copper Clay, but they both go really well. And we'll put a few like that. And voila, there you go, your fourth card. Now, if you wanted to, you could turn this into like a little envelope, even if you just took like a strip. Do I have any strips? I don't, I don't have any strips of cardstock. If you just took like a strip of cardstock and glued it like that, then you could put your gift card right there. And then it's a gift card holder. Fun, right? Easy. I mean, it, if it's that easy, can it still be called a fun fold or a fancy fold? I think anything that's not just a basic card can be called a fun fold or a fancy fold. All right, I have a couple to show you. Now, I don't know if Chris is here, but I think Chris sent me this card. I can't remember. Chris, was it you? I can't, I couldn't remember if I got it in a swap. I can't remember but it's so cute. It's got both the autumn leaves and the um, Halloween paper. And then it's got the letters that say fall. We've got some gloves, lots of coloring. She actually used um, this image that we used. And then also, or the pumpkins and sunflowers, and also the, the little plants behind it, which I thought was really cute. And that's that, what do we call that? Sidestep card? We've done this card before, very cute. And then this one is a swap card from Kathy. 
Look at that. I love how she did the strips. Let me take it out of the cell so you guys can see it. She took, um, she uh, did the in-color strips. Well, not I guess they're not all in-color. So Wild Wheat, Copper Clay, Pebbled Path, and this is Pretty Peacock. And I think that's a beautiful card. That's one of our new embossing folders. All right, so there's two bonus cards for you. Oh, where's my other card? Oh, here it is. Let me show you. And I don't have the sample, the, uh, darn it, the other card that someone gave me recently. It's here somewhere, but here's the other card. It's based on a fun fold one of you sent me. I'll have it on my blog on Monday. All right, isn't that cute? And I use that wild wheat there too. That that's paper is from the Garden Walk designer series paper also. Okay, you guys, that's it. Remember, if you want these cards, these projects, two cards and a 3D, if you want these as a little free project kit from me, all you have to do is put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, um, $35 minimum. Order anything you want. I don't care what you order. Just as long as you use that host code and um, meet that minimum threshold, I will send them to you. Um, for free next week. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Carla. You guys are great. Thank you so much. You've made my Friday wonderful. We're not too late today. Got it done in less than an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> All right. You guys have a fun weekend. Get some pumpkins if you don't have them yet. We're going to do pumpkin everything next week, okay? And, uh, I will see you next week. Oh, don't forget, Halloween class today is the very last day to register. They'll go out early next week. Um, all right. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.